In this video, I'm going to show you how to process a return, either as a refund or as an exchange. Um, so to start off, we need to get to the register screen. We do that by tapping the register icon in, on the left-hand side. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to go to the tickets section of the register. So we want to tap this tickets icon on the right side. Um, and that'll open up the tab with all of the tickets um, in your account. Um, typically, this list will show some of the most recent tickets um, that have been processed and that are being stored on this device as well as in the cloud. Um, so I've done one very recently, just a few minutes ago, but in a real sort of real life situation, what you would want to do is you'd want to search here um, by either ticket number. So if we tap here, we can search by ticket number. Um, which every receipt will have its own number. Um, we can search by the credit card's last uh, four digits. Um, or we can, we can. so these two options actually have uh, transaction ID and on hold don't have anything to really do with return. So transaction ID will be a different um, way to identify the transaction that we don't need to worry about for returns. And on hold is for tickets that um, are when you're processing a, a sale and you need to put that sale on hold to process another sale, um, you would come in here to view those on hold sales and, and resume them. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and just leave it as ticket number. And since the the transaction we want to do the return for is already in this list, um, we're just going to go ahead and tap it. So normally you'd have to search, then you would uh, this would populate with any tickets that. Um, come up for that search and then you would tap the ticket just as I did. Once you tap the ticket you can see the receipt, um, you can see all the information, so you know store name, the customer's name, the time of day, what was purchased, the totals, etc. and how it was paid. So this uh, ticket was paid by cash. And so to the easiest way to process a return is simply to tap this icon in the top right and tap make refund. And so you, you don't have to do a refund immediately. What happens is the product gets put into the register, into the ticket, a new ticket, as a negative. So it's giving the money back to the customer rather than the customer giving you money. And at this point, you can either refund, so you can either just tap refund, and then you, know, you tap cash here, or um, you can add another product to the ticket as an exchange. So let's say... I mean, these are all the same product, but let's pretend one is different, and he wants to buy this soccer jersey. So now we've got negative one, which is the one retur being returned, and one is the new one. So they do have slightly different SKUs. Um, actually, this is a size large. This is a size small. Um, so let's say you know he ch exchanged it for uh, a large with in black rather than a, a small in blue. Um, now when you hit charge, um, you'll be complete. And you can um, you can send the receipt via email, you can text it, or you can print it.